Here's a video review of the Esoteric K03 SACD player. Um, I'm going to talk first about the build quality because uh, it's as, about as ridiculous as it gets. Um, I think this thing weighs in at almost 50 pounds. And I left the cover open so you could take a look and, and see what how they arrive at such crazy mass. Um, it's part of their design philosophy, not just for the VRDS Neo clamping system, but also the, the build quality and the attention to detail is, is bar none on a CD player. Um, let me crack it open so you can have a look. Okay, um, so here's the, um, the clamping disc system. You can see it's uh, made out of machined aluminum and steel. I'll open it up so you can see what it looks like. Um, uses a sliver of a tray. And then you can kind of see the platter here that the disc sits on and the spindle clamping system here. So let me close it up so you can see how it activates. I'm gonna do it again, but this time with a disc in it. No, oh, there's a disc. You can see the laser move into position at that point. It'll spool up now and then give us the uh, TOC reading. It's a bit of a noisy player in terms of the motor spinning. Um, you can hear it when there's no music playing, even with the top on. I think it's because of the mass of the entire disc system. It's not just spinning the disc, it's actually spinning the whole clamping system. <laughs> um, you see a secondary power supply here. Uh, here are the analog output boards left and right, as well as the digital output board here in the middle and the control board. Uh, tension to quality is very noticeable. Uh, uses the best uh, capacitors you can get on the market nowadays. And the best kind of connectors, both for XLR and RCA. Um, there's a secondary power supply where there are two uh, individual transformers located below this piece here. I uh, imagine once with the digital, once with the analog stages, as well as individual uh, power supplies to power the analog stages. Um, it's made out of machined aluminum. Uh, it's pretty good looking. Uh, very, very thick machined aluminum almost everywhere you look. And then internally it uses uh, stainless steel and aluminum for all the bracing and the acoustical mechanical isolation for all the different component boards. Um, at the back you'll see a fairly simple layout. It has uh, three digital inputs, a USB, optical, and coax, as well as a word sync uh, XLR, I'm sorry, uh, BNC connector. And then for outputs you'll see left channel and right channel RCAs and XLRs, uh, with, as well as a ground link signal. Never used that before on a CD player, but there must be a reason for it. Another thing to notice is the, the quality of the remote control. I think it's bound in, in some sort of leather finish. Uh, super high quality. It'll control not just the CD players, but also some of their other components, including a preamps. Um, this can play uh, both Redbook CDs and Super Audio CDs. Um, the spin-up time for Super Audio is actually pretty decent. It doesn't take as long as some of the other players we've seen. Uh, and it's super responsive from track to track. Um, that's about it. Thank you for watching.